In the 1960s, the U.S. recruited soldiers who previously fell below military mental or medical standards under Project 100,000, colloquially known as McNamara's Morons after Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara, who started the program to meet increasing manpower demands in the Vietnam War. Project 100,000 sought to provide training and opportunities for the uneducated and impoverished. Over 320,000 soldiers were reportedly recruited, including both voluntary enlistees and draftees that placed in the lower third of the armed forces qualifications test. They faced numerous challenges, as it included men that couldn't speak English, men with low mental ability, physical impairments, and those slightly over or underweight. Despite this, they were given the same training as the rest of the military, and thus were held to the same standards. These men experienced death rates three times higher than other Americans in Vietnam, and at home faced lower incomes and higher divorce rates when compared to non-veteran peers.